Thanks to Freud, we have Freudian psychology, thanks to Jung, there are things that are Jungian. I'm guessing that whoever it was that developed the methods of electroshock therapy is pretty happy they didn't lend their name to it. Yeah, talk about a way to scar your children. Shocking. Um, so, I mean, that's just a thing that happens, actually. I'm not sure if you're aware, but scientists, people who discover things and invent things, they often will name uh, their new inventions or discoveries after themselves, or they'll name after their children or something. So, like, there's a bunch of astronomers, you know, every time they find a new star, they'll name it after themselves. And, um, I mean, we haven't heard of any of them. Oh, except the one um, named after that Italian guy, Al Fasenturai. Yeah. Um, so, space. I'll see what I did there. That was a space. Yeah, that was a pun. Okay. Um, so, uh, anyway, speaking of space, you know how Pluto is not a planet anymore? Yeah, I know, right? Like, what are we going to do? It really ruins my mnemonic. My very early morning jog startled. <laughs> startled, yeah. Umpteen nosy. P uh, oh, see, so you can't do it anymore. Like, I can't unlearn that mnemonic. I'll never unlearn that mnemonic. That's the thing about mnemonics. Like, once it's in there, you're never getting it out. So, I have an outdated mnemonic quite sad. But Pluto. Okay, so Pluto, the planet, it's named after a god like the other planets, uh, Saturn, Venus, Neptune. But now that it's not a planet, it just doesn't seem like it's worthy of such a name, right? So I think we're going to see a campaign coming up in the next few years of people wanting to rename Pluto. Um, and, okay, it probably makes sense to name it after the person who discovered it's not a planet. I think that's going to be what that person wants. Really hope they're not called, like, Krakowski. Um, I don't know, you need something that's not quite as amazing as a god name and it's not too lowly, like, I don't, I don't know, maybe, like, McGregor or Mitchell. Yeah, I can live with Mitchell. So, so let's say uh, we rename Pluto, and it becomes Mitchell, and it's not a planet, I don't know what it is. It probably just fits into its own category, so you don't really need a mnemonic for it. Okay, it just is. Um, well, here's the tr trouble, you see, I have this sneaking suspicion that a few years after that, once people get used to calling it that, this scientist who has received a lot of attention due to the name change, he, he or she is going to come out and say, oh look, I've discovered that it is a planet. Oh, look, I have a planet named after me. <laughs> How did that happen? Oh. So, here's the deal, people. Don't buy into this rename Pluto campaign. Don't. Don't. Please. In my heart, Pluto, you will always be a planet.